It's 4.30 on Thursday morning and the day of reckoning has finally arrived. The girls are heading for the Caribbean, where they're beginning the journey of a lifetime. They're going to be cycling an incredible 250 miles around Cuba. It's going to be a long, arduous ride, but as it's all for charity, they're determined to succeed. After a long 14-hour flight, the girls finally arrive. Welcome to Cuba, Janet. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Hola. It's late, it's hot, and they're tired. So all they want now is a good night's sleep. It's 6.30 on Saturday morning, and today we're being transferred south to the Bay of Pigs. En route, we pass through Havana, and it's easy to see why people fall in love with this 500-year-old city. The transfer to the Bay of Pigs takes three hours, and it's not long before the girls get their first glimpse of the Caribbean. I can see blue water. I don't see blue water very, very often when you live near Blackpool. I didn't realise it was so green. I thought it would have been really barren, you know what I mean? Cuba's five hours behind the UK, and the girls are starting to feel the effects of jet lag. But there's no time to spare. They need to check in, grab some lunch, and get kitted out with their bikes. Oh, my word. Janet, for you, you take one of those. And this is one of them I didn't want in the Cotswolds. Remember them tyres? One I didn't want. You're a fussy arrow, aren't you? When it comes to cycling abroad, the girls are beginners. But there's someone else on this trip will be able to offer them a few tips. It's very important to bring your own saddle when you come here because it's the saddle that you've been um, training on for the last however many months and weeks. This is the one that has done Egypt and India and now Cuba, so I feel quite comfortable with that one. This is much, much hotter than both Egypt and India. It's 32 degrees, but to be honest, with the humidity, it feels like... 92 degrees. Um, it's the humidity that really gets to you. You just do anything, slight exertion, and you just pour buckets. And given that um, both Janet and Colette have been training in Wigan, which is not known for its warm climate, I think they might struggle. You're not still going? I am. Now that the bikes have been fitted, the girls have a chance to explore the Bay of Pigs. Famous for the unsuccessful American-backed attempt to overthrow Cuba's revolutionary leader, Fidel Castro. We wait till they're invaded tomorrow by 90 women wearing lycra on bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> Far more scary. <laughs> well, make the most of it, girls. Because tomorrow, we ride. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Fit and ready to go. <laughs> it's 6.30 in the morning. The girls are nervous, but hoping that their lucky mascots will get them through their first day of cycling without mishap. Today, we're going to be cycling 67 kilometers through the Zapata Peninsula from the Bay of Pigs to Cienfuegos. It's an area well known for its coastal roads, mangrove swamps, and um, crocodiles. We're all raring to go. The, the start line is in between those two coaches and we're all going to cross that in a minute. The girls are starting to assemble. So, see you at the end of the day. Just 30 minutes into the cycle ride and the girls are struggling already. Anyway, we are now last. So I'm trying to push the girls on a bit because otherwise we won't get any rest when we get to the rest stop. They'll be ready to pack up and go. Come on! It's all right. There was a chain across the road and we didn't see it, so I hopped over it. Oh, oh don't do that. Come on. Hey, come on, come on. <laughs> get it proper if you're going to get it. Good job I had the hat, that's all, because I got it here. This is the first of many accidents. It's 33 degrees, we're cycling off-road and we're starting to drop like flies. Dr. Sophie, the team's medic, has certainly got her work cut out for her today. Okay. Yes. With everyone patched up, we're back on the road.
but the heat's starting to get to us all. This girl is a powerhouse of energy, but it is very hot today. And I think the heat and everything has just given her a funny moment. It's not it's like a, you at all, is it? It's not at all. No, not at all. <laughs> but the girls are determined to succeed because they know the cycle rides in aid of a good cause. For the past year, all these women have been fundraising for a women's health charity founded by Professor Robert Winston. And today, he's joined us on the ride. Many of the women here come from all sorts of different backgrounds. Many of them have never been away from home before. Many have never left the children, if they've got children. Many of them have not left their partner or husband. They've spent a long time bravely getting fit, perhaps nine months. So that's changed them already. I think there's a sense of personal achievement, which uh, can't be underrated. As we travel through the Cuban countryside, we're always greeted with a friendly hello. How fantastic is this? Can you imagine all our school children every Saturday getting together in their villages and doing this kind of entertainment? And look, there's no audience except that we've arrived today. Otherwise, they just do it for themselves. Leaving the bemused villagers behind, we're back on the road again. But the heat is starting to get to Colette. How are you feeling, Colette? Oh, I do have a severe pain in my head. My arms are all right. My legs are all right. At the top of your neck, just at the base of your skull? No, 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 no. Very across the front? At the top here. Thankfully, there's enough beautiful scenery to distract us from our aches and pains. The mangrove trees on either side of the road disguise the sea on one side and the swamps on the other. You see the red crabs? I wonder what they were. They looked like big papaya on legs walking sideways across the road. Amazing. There's no crocodiles in there, is there? <laughs> in there that's shaking its tail. It's a bull. Is it a bull? <laughs> Seeing the swamps has made us all a bit nervous and when we reach the aftermath of a recent tropical storm our imaginations go into overdrive. But the locals did it, they were okay. Yes! <laughs> an alligator on your back tire. Oh that's alright. <laughs> It's raining now and it's very, very nice. It's very refreshing and very welcoming. I think I've just had a sudden burst of energy because I can see the finishing line. After eight hours and 67 kilometres, we finally reach the end of day one. It's done. It's over with. The first day. Yay! Can I go home now? <laughs> day two tomorrow, and it's filled with tears. You're always smiling and don't know how you cope. And, and drama. <laughs> 